Hello everyone, today I will be showing you how you can get the Microsoft Voices on Rabbit Offline. So, yeah, this method applies to Rabbit Offline version 2.2.0 and above as of right now. But do not worry, I will make a TTS5 version 1.3.0 pretty soon. You'll just have to give me some patience. So, anyway, this is Rapper Offline 2.0.0 I'm using right now. And when I'm over the LVM, when I get the voices, you'll see in a minute. What I mean by you having no Microsoft voices as of right now. So, like, you won't see Sam, you won't see Mike. And all the parentheses, and you won't see pretty much all of that. So, for testing purposes, we're gonna go on to scene settings and narration, and then text to speech. And as you see, we we'll scroll down. There's no Microsoft Voices right now, and I'll be showing you how you can added with two simple files this time. Not coding like last time. I do apologize for confusing you all. I decided this time to do a different method by just simply adding the two files that I've created. And right now, they are pull requested to wrap it offline. So, yeah, I gave those files to wrap it offline. Hopefully, they approve it. But, yeah. Those will be the files you'll be, you'll be needing to add for Microsoft Voices. So, you see, you're not having merely a way of that right now. And, yeah. So, I'll be showing you how you can simply add voice voices from this website. So, what you're going to do is simply use these two files which you downloaded from a download link in the description. These are the files that will be included. The voices.json file will be going into the data folder of your wrapper folder. And this file will be going to your models folder, your lab folder. I'll be showing you how I copy those files to those two folders. So yeah. And if you use these two files, you won't have to use the Microsoft Voices from this website anymore. Instead, you'll just be having them built in. And you want to deal with so much stress. So first up, what you're going to do is... You can either copy your voices.json file first or your tts.js file first. Yeah, just copy the tts file first. Just make this easier. I mean, at least. Yeah, copy that first. I mean, no, 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 don't do that. To make this easier, copy these two files with either CTLC or by right clicking, just click and copy. There. And then. Go into your resources for the wrapper folder. And then your app folder. Then your wrapper folder. Then your models folder. Either folder works. It can be data or models. Except voices.json file goes into the data folder. Which is right here. And your tts.js file will be going to the models folder, which is over here, which is why I selected right now. So, double click on that, and then delete the old tts.js file by either using shift and delete, or by right clicking and then just doing delete. Yeah, but, but for me though, I'll just be doing shift and delete, because that will make things a lot faster. I suggest you do that shortcut too, and then just paste the file over with CTLV, then delete your voices, start your song, as far as not go there. So, yeah. After that, just do controllers folder. No, 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 no. Now, don't do that. Do data folder last. Delete the current voices, start JSON file. Paste in voices, start JSON file. Delete the TTS, star. JS file in your dial folder and boom, you have it guys, you have it. If you've been watching carefully, then you've been seeing what I'm doing. And when you double click labofwana.exe file now, it should open. 
And guys, we did this correctly. They should have your Microsoft folder. No, 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 no. that folder. No, no, no. Otherwise, I think that's sorry about that. If you did this correctly, you should have all your Microsoft voices in your TTS text to speech option thing. I'll show you what I mean. If you're all confused. You know, once again, for testing purposes, scene settings, and narration, and... Again, if you did this correctly, we scroll down, you should have your Microsoft voices. You have your mic in space, mic in the hall, mic inside the studio, mic from Microsoft, on a plane, and vocal well. You should have all of these voices in there, including voice voice voices if you haven't noticed the voice voice voices. So, yeah, yeah, guys, you should have all that in there, and yes, they do work. Let me show you the example. Let's see, we do test, generate voice. Test. You can see that it works, guys, so it's not fake, guys, it's not fake. Don't think it's fake, it's actually real, it's not fake. So, yeah, guys, it's real. Let me show you again with a merry voice. All the parentheses ones should work too, so yeah. Test. So, you guys, if you just wait for a little bit, it will work, guys. So, yeah, there you go, guys. That's how you get your Microsoft voices added to Apple offline. If you liked it, make sure to give me a sub and a comment, and make sure you like the video. And See you in the future video. See you in the video where let me show you. See you in the video where childish wife goes to Burger King. Which is this is what I'm making right now, currently. So yeah guys. Thank you all for watching. And yes guys, Microsoft Voices should be useful because it has whispers and all that stuff in there.